Welcome to the Grizzled War Master. I'm Mike. I'm Doug. And we're here today with another goodie here. This is the Song of Fire and Ice miniature war game that we ordered on eBay. We, or eBay. We didn't order on eBay. <laughs> Kickstarter. Kickstarter. We Kickstarter yeah. this. Or we didn't Kickstarter. We supported a Kickstarter for this game. I know I'll get it right eventually. I'm just so excited about this. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, you know that this, this is all about the different night houses. And this is based on the books yes. more than the movie or right. the TV yeah. series. But we're super excited about this. So today, we're going to open this up, see what we can. We haven't even looked at it yet. It's so sealed up here. Yeah. So we waited until we had to set up cameras and lights and had to wait a few days to stare at this giant box knowing there's goodies <laughs> inside. Yeah. <sighs> but we'll tear it open and see what it is, and then we'll go from there. Let you know what we see. Boom. All right, here we are. What's inside the box? Oh, oh Doug's address is on the box. Why don't we move that off there? <laughs> uh Yeah, <laughs> knee stalkers. People interested in Doug's knees. If you're wondering what that means, check out our other channel. Yeah. It's all about Doug's knees. All right. Oh. Probably should have pre-opened the flaps Probably. here. But <laughs> But it's the suspense. You get to all watch right. us. Here we go. So we backed at the, I don't know, there's there's a uh, manifest there. So let's open that up, yeah, too. We backed at the king level, I think it was called. I don't know. It was the, you get... Uh, one of everything plus all the unlocks, but without ordering any of the extras. So, Hand of the King pledge level. Hand of the King. So, in theory, we've got a Stark versus Lannister starter box. We've got a some Stark longbowmen, Knights of Casterly Rock, Boltons, Bastards, Girls, Mercenary Hero box, Hand of the King box, Stark Heroes box, Lannister Heroes box, and Boltons Flayed Men. So, here we... Uh, Bast Bolton Bastards Girls. Uh, it's like a dog Dogs, unit. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, we've got Stark Heroes 1. Uh, oh, I forget. This comes with Rob Brandon Hodor. Hodor. Yeah. Brendan Tully, Summer, Eddard Stark, Roderick, Roderick Castle, Howland Reed, and Bran Riding Hodor. That is awesome. So that's cool. Uh, we got some Stark Bowmen. Cool. This, Some around each other. Yeah, the so the models, the models are really good for this. Yeah, I'm really excited about this game. There's the uh, brand right Hodor model. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see that from this <laughs> distance, but all right. Here's the neutral heroes. We've got Ramsey Bolton, Roos Bolton, Theon Greyjoy, Peter Baelish, and Barry Berries. Yeah. Um, so there you go. With that. And then we got some Knights of Casterly Rock. Uh, Cool cavalry miniatures. They look pretty sweet. Um, it looks like you got uh, four different knights with a movement tray, miniature cards, and then there are four different poses. So that's, that's and you notice on the boxes, do um, there's two factions right now: the Lannisters and the Starks, and the boxes are color coded so you know which. Yeah, which and then there's which. I think the neutral ones are are, uh, are one color, slightly like a more reddish black yeah. than the. Like uh, Bolton's Flayed Men, I think, can be taken by either book yeah. side. Um, and here's some Lannister heroes. Comes with Sandor Clegane, Tywin Lannister, Tyrion Lannister, the High Sparrow, and Pysel. Which nice. I forget who Pysel is. But, all right. All right. I'm not, we'll open this in a minute. Let's Pysel's go ahead. The, uh, the Meister. Okay. okay. So we got. There's the big box. This is the main starter set, Starks versus Lannisters. Uh, make sure you can see that. But oh man, it comes with a ton. <laughs> We're gonna open this up next. So. And they are, the miniatures are uh, color coded. They're red and bluish gray miniatures. So they don't come plain gray that you then base and stuff like that. They are already colored. At least the two main factions are. And finally, what comes in the hand of the king? What's in the box? Oh, we actually get to look at some of the miniatures right away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. These are the bon I think these are the bonus miniatures you got because they may they met a certain goal. Oh, the throne. So you the get the throne. That is what the throne is supposed to look like. The Iron Throne. It's, uh, That's what it's called, right? The Iron yeah, Throne? It's the, uh, yeah, the Iron Throne. Is... So it's all swords of enemies they've conquered. Yeah. Uh, it's a little small in the actual TV series, but that is what the actual... Throne is supposed to look in the books. Uh, all right, comes with a bunch of markers that will come into gameplay um, for various things you're you're doing. 
And then let's take some of these miniatures out. I gotta check out this. These were specialty miniatures that you could only get from backing the Kickstarter, I believe. And unfortunately, without looking, we can pull out the cards if you want. We can look at and pull these out and see who. That throne's gotta go on our set, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have the cards that's, that are right there, and we'll be able to tell who's who. Okay. I um, mean, one's obvious. I'll see. You'll see that in a second here. Um, he, he could be nobody else. There's the mountain. The mountain. Yeah, the giant. You get the mountain with this set. I'll go ahead and put him back. Uh, I think this is a mountain mounted. Yeah. The if mountain, you want to mountain. take him mounted. Um, Gregor Clegane. Yeah. That's the only card that's in this one. Oh, really? Gregor Clegane. Oh, no. Okay, right. Yeah. I'm saying this one is on. He, oh. he got his own special little baggie for his card. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's how special he is. Uh, I think this is uh, Big John Umber. Yeah. And. I'm not sure who that is without looking at the cards. There's a guard captain in there somewhere. Yeah, there's a guard captain. I believe this is uh, the Grand Meister, whatever his name is. What was the Grand Meister's name? Because he's Pisa. brown, the brown guys are neutral. Yes. Uh, these are neutral characters, so anybody can take them. Gregor Clegane, Jamie Lannister, is he in there? Uh, I think that's him right here, okay. I believe. Lannister there we go. Captain, uh, Cragoman Warden, Maybe Craig. Warden, these are all, oh, Brendan Tully. Uh, A Tully. Is I believe this is probably Brendan Tully. Uh, it's hard to tell. Black is he fish. mounted? Yeah, he's mounted. He's a cavalry. So this might be him right here. Brendan Tully. Yep. Braun is in there too, the the mercenary. Uh, is he Braun? Yeah, yeah, this is probably Braun right here. That's awesome. So you got Braun, the mercenary. Brienne is in there too. Brienne of Tarth? Brienne of Tarth. She's, oh, that's... She's uh, brown. Oh, she's brown? Yeah. She wielding a two-handed sword? Yep. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> Brienne of Tarth there. And then the highest essentials, the one. The here. high essentials, this guy. Yep. And then. Uh, yeah, that's it. Those are the. All right. So and then you've got some other guys. Uh, then you got good. some dudes. It don't matter. You got the mountain. That's <laughs> all that mountain, matters. Yeah. So. <laughs> so there you go. That's the. These were the bonus ones that only came if you uh, supported the Kickstarter. So those were bonuses. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and open the big box. Must open the big box, see what's in it, and we're going to cut off here. For yeah, sure. <laughs> we want to be focused on the box, not necessarily us. So, speak for yourself. If you, <laughs> I want to see me. All right, let's so let's open this up. Oh yeah! Woo! Team effort. Oh, I'm gonna have to do team effort again too because this is pretty tightly on there. Should have probably pre-opened this, but he wanted to be dramatic. All right, yeah. there we go. Dun dun dun. This is apparently the rule book. <laughs> a pretty small rule book. But again, there's not a lot of fluff for this because there's a novel series for the fluff. Yeah, for that. There's, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and, go ahead and show fluff. those off. I'll open this up. There we go. We got the cards. We got more little power cards. Oh, that's one of the things I'm looking forward to this game the most. You play these little cards based on the army. Uh, oh, actually, these are objectives. But your army has cards that you play that allow you to do certain abilities, I believe. So, All taped so together. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I always I, the, the command structure of that, of the game, sounds really cool, where your heroes can give your units little buffs or commands to do things. So I'm kind of I'm excited for that. Well, they don't want you to get into this. <laughs> yeah. All right, so these are the movement trays. Let's check out some of these things. So if you're a big fan of the old rank and file and you missed that, you know, with the, now we actually have movement trays with the horses fit on them. Wow, look at that. Nice and big. Throw those guys in a movement tray. There you go. There's a unit of horsemen, or a cavalry unit. Boom, cavalry. So yeah, sweet. are these what's what scale are these? Are these, are these bigger than regular D and D miniatures? I they look slightly bigger, I think. Than yeah. This uh, this is a part of the tactical part of this with heroes. They can take these actions depending on what they've got. 
We've got some Bannermen. Again, more punch out stuff. Punch out terrain if you're playing just on a flat table. So that's kind of cool. A big old pile of dead bodies. Dead bodies. As a, as a terrain feature. Big tree. All kinds of counters for keeping track of life. Um, I think there are different conditions in the game. Like if your morale's broken or something like that, you, you put these different tokens on them to track those conditions. Um, again, we haven't... I saw some demonstrations of the rules, but we haven't read them. This is a uh, distance calculator, so you have short and long distance uh, out to 12 inches. I think pretty much everything goes just up to 12 inches as yeah. range for it. Um, you've got these coins that I believe your your heroes generate these to spend on different abilities they or have. Some battlements or some uh, walls. Oh yeah, you can. You've got. Some, oh, yeah. Oops. Just throw that anywhere. Yeah. So you got yeah barriers and walls that you guys oh grab shot there barriers and walls that you can put down as uh, terrain features so that's cool. Here we have the Starks. They're going to be all color coded in the, the gray color or the blue kind of bluish gray. Um, and these are notice these models are all put together. They're all put There's together. There's no They're assembly all, required for this game. Yeah, no gluing, no like not even like the uh, the click fit or whatever they have. This is all. The models are all put together for you, and they're amazing looking. It's hard to tell the detail in them from this angle here, but yeah, they are pretty, pretty nicely detailed. Okay, great, John. Umber is huge. Yeah, but not nearly as huge as mountains in the other. These are here. Oh, we have another version of the mountain. Oh, yeah, those are the, those are the yeah, those are versions. alternate scopes. So here's the mountain, <laughs> and, then, and here's Cersei. Yeah, just to give you an idea. Oops. Oops. Yeah, how big the mountain is. It is gigantic. More foot troops. The interesting thing is, is the base set, um, the Starks get cavalry, but the Lannisters do not. But they have a lot more men, though. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's, it's interesting. But one of the bonus things we got was cal cavalry for a direwolf down here. Yep. Mm. And the direwolf, I believe, is a companion for one of the heroes. Rob or? Uh, yes, yes, I think Rob comes with the. Rob. The starter set. He's all taped up. Recon number. So I'll fill up his double. He's on a he's on a cavalry base. He's the yep. same base as a horse. <laughs> yeah, so that's cool. So there is some sweet miniatures in this set. Yeah. Can't wait to paint these up and and try these out. We're gonna. Yeah, I'm looking forward to learning how to play how to play the game. That, that'll be awesome. Okay, so what the, the box is chock full of Game of Thrones goodness. Yeah. Uh, Song of Ice and Fire, not Fire and Ice, sorry. Yes. Ice and Fire. Uh, amazing miniatures. I mean, there's a ton of these with the movement trays. Right. You got your cavalry and you got your regular troops. And then you got your special figures like Cersei and Tyrion. You got a little Tyrion figure and this awesome game. A Tyrion Throne. came in the. In yeah, the set? Okay, cool. said. Well, yeah. these figures are more like they don't have actual battlefield roles the way they work in the game. Yeah. Is there's you a political actually, chart? Yeah, you actually put the hero figures on here to say how they're supporting your troops. Right. And there's different things. And we'll do a play how to play video at mm -hmm. some point. This is just an unboxing at this right. point. So that's yeah. a great way to get characters like Tyrion and Cersei as miniatures in here without because they don't have battlefield roles. Really, yeah. You know. I mean, Tyrion did once, but yeah, still not really. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So it's a great way of actually having models of those. So you got all your favorite characters, models, and they actually do have a function in the game and play. So uh, overall, the miniature quality, I, I'm actually very impressed with this. I didn't yeah. know what to expect um, yeah. with... Uh, the Great Johns. I forget what these guys are called. The Berserkers or whatever. The Berserkers of Umber or yeah. Yeah, something like They're, that. The, the detail on all these miniatures is, is amazing. Yeah. And the quality, it's, it's a plastic, right? But it's that hard plastic. It's mm -hmm. not like the, you know... Like the soft stuff, like the Reaver Bones or something like that. That right. Um, it's a hard plastic, but yet it's still flexible enough that you're not going to break a spear if it bends a little bit. Yep. You know, yeah. <laughs> snap. Oh, I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> cut. Yeah. 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 So it's you know, nice quality miniatures. The detail is really good on them. They're not yeah. like, um, like the the super high quality detail miniatures, but for a tabletop basic troops, they're they're yeah. really good. And the the hero sculpts are. 
are really good. I mean, like I said, tune, yeah. the detail in this. Yep. I can't wait to start painting some of these. So that'll be another video where you get these painted up there here you for go, you. Man. Uh, I like the moving trays. I like the, you know, uh, the markers and everything like that is all high quality. So you're getting quality in this. They did a really good job with this. Um, I mean, well, Kickstarter made enough. <laughs> Kickstarter made enough. Yeah, this was a really good Kickstarter. And yeah, remember, this is we're unboxing for a Kickstarter. Yes. There's, there's the base set, which, um, you know, let's show this off. So this will be, this starter set will be in stores yep. soon, maybe now. Um, and then... You know a lot of these individual support box sets um, and then these trays that we pulled out one those those come within the starter set and then we showed you some extra stuff that came just, just for, for Kickstarter this. supporters yeah. so you know you might be able to find some on eBay or something like that but generally you're not gonna be able to get those yeah. things but you like you're not gonna be able to get a mountain on a horse Unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to get the throne or a mountain on the horse yeah mounted uh, mountain typically you won't be able to do that, so. Unless you're back to this Kickstarter, but uh, I don't know what the price tag on this thing is. I know for the Kickstarter value, it's way, it's a really good deal for what you know we paid up for the paid for the Kickstarter. Yeah, the uh, the level we supported at, I believe, um, I want to say two, we supported at two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars, yeah. And that includes all of these extra boxes, which were, I mean, you got it as part of the supporting at that level. But this is, they're not actually that bad. The fine, the Knights of Casterly Rock, those are $15 box. $15 box? It's four miniatures. It's four miniature knight, yeah, but like a five man box of knights for Games Workshop would be, you know, 50 bucks. Right. You know, this is 15. It's 15. All of these boxes are 15, except for. Uh, the hand of the king box, which actually was some, which was One the bonus. Yeah. It was the bonus stuff. Yeah. Um, but everything else, oh no! Apparently, this starter set. Now this might be. <laughs> no, this this is definitely the kickstart price was forty dollars. So, uh, yeah, forty dollars. I'm sure yeah. in stores it's probably eighty. Um, One hundred and twenty would be still a value for this. Yeah. The, the number of miniatures you get for yeah. this. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just yeah. What's the, what's the Games Workshop starter set? It's one sixty. 130. 130. A, a games workshop set this size would be 130 dollars, um, and it you know it would have two armies, a, yeah. per, about 50 miniatures, which is about this has I think slightly more than that, actually probably double that. Yeah. Um, they're not the same quality. They're they're not. There's no hobbying to it. You're not putting these together. You're just paint. If you want to paint them, you don't even have to paint them. They're all color they're all color coded yep. to whatever army they're going to be with. But if you're more of a go. board gamer and you're just like, dipping your feet into miniature war gaming, this would be a perfect way to start. Absolutely. I mean, it's got rules and plays kind of like a board game. Yeah, and you got nice flat terrain stuff. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You could probably just put it on a table with a black cloth or anything like that, yeah. green cloth, and just throw some of these out there, and there you go, play. Yeah, you don't need anything else. To We're going to be building terrain for it, but you know, <laughs> that's how we do. Yeah. But yeah, all in all, I would say this is a pretty impressive box set. Yeah. What about you? What do you think? Oh uh, yeah, the this I, I was again. You can't kick. You, you obviously can't support the Kickstarter anymore. But this was a great value. Um, I'm really impressed. I, when we saw it on Kickstarter, we're like, "This looks cool. These are some great miniatures." Yeah. Seeing them in person, yeah, I'm just like, "Wow, these are these are really well done." Yes. Um, so yeah, like I said. Uh, I'm excited to learn how to play it, <laughs> and then once we do that, we'll make a video teaching you guys how to play it. Yep, so stay tuned to that. So thanks, guys, for watching us unbox the Song of Ice and Fire Kickstarter set. Um, we'll be back with some more videos of Song of Ice and Fire, how to play, painting, putting this thing together, and enjoying it. But just first initial uh, reaction is this is a great box set, great yeah. value. So if you see it, pick it up. Um, so thanks, guys. For watching uh, and supporting the channel, please like, subscribe. We're trying to grow this channel here. Um, yeah, definitely share with your friends. That's a big thing now. We're in the early yeah. stages. Um, anybody who's into miniature wargaming, uh, tabletop, you know, uh, games, you know, whatever party games, we're gonna we're gonna try and look at all of that kind of stuff. Card yeah. games, Sentinels of the Multiverse, that kind of stuff. Yeah, and if you're a multifaceted geek who likes other geek stuff like comic book movies or <laughs> anime or you know reaction right. videos please check out our other main channel the grizzle geek uh, for our videos there so thanks guys really appreciate it uh and we'll be back next time with uh some more unboxing and plays and playthroughs and battle yep. reports yep. So.
We'll see you.